How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I actually have quite a treat for you guys. I was digging through my phone the other day and I found some lost footage of the Lexus and it's actually the most asked for footage from the Lexus and that was when I was lowering it. Just to explain really quick to you guys, this happened in July of 2022. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy this long lost Lexus footage. Peace. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, I'm actually- All right, so we have the wheel off. This is our original suspension. It fucking sucks. Don't, don't pay attention to any of this rubber right here. <laughs> um, we're getting this off, uh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here with my friend is we're taking the suspension out, but because the Lexus was lifted, it didn't come out the way it was supposed to. So instead of just getting it out, we came up with a different solution. <laughs> uh, well, it, we got it out. We got it out. <laughs> with a little bit of force. You want to show them one side of the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... Probably spent close to two hours on this and uh, I fucking gave up, so we cut this shit in half. So, uh, yeah. So what I failed to explain here was yes, I actually did cut the shock in half. And if you know anything about shocks, they're pressurized with oil. So I was cutting with the Sawzall and it actually blew up in my face. So in this next clip you see, I learned from that and I at least drilled a hole so that the pressure was gone. This one's not worth It's gonna be bad. <laughs> you know it's coming. <laughs> all right so here's our hilariously tiny godspeed coil uh we got a got a little bit of distance to cover here so uh we're gonna jack this up probably and you know slip this through even all the way in oh my god yeah it still has to sit on the ground that's it that's <laughs> Well, at least you don't have to worry about fucking up your end. This thing sits. I know, right? You have that much. That's perfect. You're Look at much. this, baby. Look at the difference. Wait. Look at the difference there and there. That's insane. Okay. So I believe I owe you guys a little bit of an apology. Is that you may ask? Well, I, I may or may not already be done. And then the front was much easier, but I spent maybe two hours trying to get the, uh, whatchamacallit, the strut to even sit right because um, I was actually bottoming out for like, I don't know, maybe two inches. So I do two inches and nothing would happen. And I did two more inches and nothing would happen. And it was really pissing me off. So I did a lot more. And that's why you can see, you know, I got like, this one's actually more like a finger. I have roughly, you know, like a finger, maybe two bent fingers here. I got two straight fingers here. I don't have any fingers back here. All, all four of my coils are very much off from each other. So today I'm gonna try and work on that. I didn't quite realize it, but you can actually see how off is like look if i put my phone literally on the ground here the driver's side is much lower than the passenger side so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and fix that so yeah <laughs> Okay, so one thing I cannot recommend more are these things. So for me, who's, you know, a noob to being lowered, these things are absolute lifesavers. I think they're called like level blocks or something like that. Just look up RV level blocks. Uh, they come in, you know, like a box or a bag of like 10 or something and you can stack them. They're just big Legos. And you know, they're lifesavers, honestly. They're worth their weight in gold, especially for me. I'm gonna be carrying them around and you should too. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to match them to the front and then, uh, whatchamacallit, zero them in or something, I don't know. So these are our new measurements. In the rear, we're sitting at 73 and 81. So, you know, 
difference of under 10, but in the front, 100 and 118. I decided I'm gonna make all four tires 100 millimeters because I liked the way this one fit the most. This was too much and these two are too little. So 100, perfect number. The way I'm gonna achieve this perfect number of 100 is I'm actually just gonna go one by one and I'm just gonna have to do it the hard way. I mean, it's the easy way because it's coilovers, but the hard way, I'm gonna have to put it, you know, up on the jack, bring it up, adjust it, put it back down, see where it is, you know, give it up or down until I hit 100 and do that for all three wheels. So uh, this is gonna be one hell of a time lapse. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, just like that, I am done. So what I did instead of, I was measuring from like in here to here. And what he told me was to put it on the floor up against here and find, you know, the average of the, the tallest, you know, using the ground. Uh, so I averaged 24 and a quarter inch. Uh, one of them was 24, one of them was 24 and a half. That was like the, the or 25, sorry, 25. So I got them all down to 25 and a quarter, give or take. It's not perfect but it is a hell of a lot better than what it was so i will take it so yeah see if you come back over here you look at the ground it's a lot better than what it was it was visibly different all righty guys so that's going to be it for this video um sorry it was you know kind of terribly filmed i just i don't know i've been doing a lot of work and haven't had the time but, uh, you know, new wheels, new coils. There's so much more in stock or so much more in store. Just you guys wait. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. It was quite nice to go back and look at this Lexus footage, you know, seeing me uh, work on the Lexus some more and hanging out with old friends. Um, my friend's Instagram is in the description if you guys want to check him out. He does a lot more automotive stuff than I do right now because he actually goes to college for it. Um, but yeah, I do hope you guys are excited for the next video. The next video is confirmed to have the next car in it, or the new car. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Hope you guys have any good guesses. Leave them down in the comments. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video where I talk about my new car. Peace.